I promise I haven't just found the terrapins. There's actually quite a bit going on at Chitwadan this afternoon. It's really pretty. But I thought we'd better have a look at the sun worshippers, as Gert uh, calls them, which I think, I'm tongue-tied now, Gert, sorry. He calls them the sun worshippers, and I think that that is so true. But these terrapins are about the size of a soccer ball. They must be some of the biggest ones I've actually seen. They're enormous, these two just enjoying the last golden afternoon light so I think you all thought that you were going to come here and you were going to see hippos in the golden light well what a surprise but it is many hippos around here there's one just here and there's even a whole lot more just further in the distance but before I show you can you see the crocodile you see him just going down in the distance towards that knob thorn you just see him moving there's the big croc going for a swim going to find a spot to rest up I'm sure maybe on the other side of the dam I don't think it enjoyed me arriving here too much but very casual not going anywhere in a hurry just a afternoon a Sunday afternoon cruise look at that doesn't really need to use its tail very much just moving its back and forth very slowly and it's able to glide through the water they're quite incredible creatures. Creatures. They're very graceful in the water. I wish when I swam around that I looked like a crocodile. I don't. I resemble more of the hippopotamus and splash around like a hippo does too. This one not having much of it going up and down all the time. Now, there's a couple of little hippos though that are just starting to pop out now. Just actually to the right. It's quite pretty. There's two of them are playing in the shallow water. So there must be a bit of a sandbank there. But there they are. And the little one is just at the back. Oh, and the ox peckers have now joined the party too. So there's really a lot going on down here. The fish eagles are also flying around. Uh, they've perched themselves off hidden away though. And now Deborah, you've said that this area is always so pretty and peaceful. It is indeed. And it's very peaceful, especially when you don't have the guinea fowls around. Because the guinea fowls make a huge racket, but they still could be on their way to have a drink before the sun goes down. But look at that little hippopotamus. This is quite funny. We've got an adult hippo, probably mom, and then young hippo calf using mom as a sort of flotation device, and then oxpeckers on top of the baby. So it's a piggyback of hippos and oxpeckers. Now I'm just listening because the go away birds were shouting just for a moment. So I always, when I hear them around the lodge, I get quite excited, hoping that it is going to be something like a leopard. So I will keep my eyes out as we sit here. So I believe, I must tell you, <coughs> I was listening to the Eastern Channel and it seems as though they managed to find Quarantine and he is on in Coral. In case you were wondering where Quarantine is and what he's been up to, he's walking around at the moment but I didn't hear if he was hunting or if he was just doing a territorial patrol but he is apparently well and he's healthy so that's quite nice. I hope to see him one day. He's a beautiful leopard. Little one, you a little bit lazy there using mom. <laughs> it almost looks like it's sitting right on the top of her back, don't you think? Now this is one of the young, younger hippos. There's about three of them or so that are quite young. And the water thickness are just calling in the distance. If you're w wondering what that whistling sound was, it wasn't me. 